Good morning friends, so today I'm going to show you how to take your floor from this to this. Okay, so here's the tools you're going to need, plus the circular saw. So, I have a rubber mallet, pliers, Another set of pliers, channel locks, some scissors, tape measure, a small and a medium pry bar, a hand, a hand saw, it's a little Japanese hand saw, and a regular hammer. So, I'll show you how to do that. Here we go. Start by cutting a hole in the carpet so you can easily remove it. Ah, it stinks. <laughs> it smells really bad. Okay, so when I'm ripping up this tack strip, what I like to use is a uh, pry bar. I have my small and my medium and a hammer, all right? When you rip this up, yeah, you're gonna wanna get every little piece of it. And it shouldn't be too hard. It's not very difficult. So let's jump into that. Okay, so now I need to go to the store. I need to get kills for the floor so I can seal it for any water, future water that may get in there or any smell that is there. Because there is a bit of a smell. Um, I have gotta have the wife pick out what type of flooring she wants in here because it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> I would go with the really cheap stuff. Uh, and I need to get the underlay, which is just basically helps soften the blow. Some of them have them pre-built into them, but I don't know what she's gonna pick, so we'll find out what we get. Well, the wife finally picked out her color for the flooring that she wants, so I'm off to the store to go get it. Bam, just like that, I'm back. <laughs> Gotta love video editing. So. This is the flooring my wife picked out. It's the Pergo Outlast. Um, I don't even know what color it is. She just wanted this color. You can always talk to an employee to try and get yourself a discount, especially if the material's already been opened. Uh, odds are they'll run it back a little bit of money. I bought this stuff from Home Depot and they knocked off a bit of money off of it because the packages were already open. I paid full price for three of them. I didn't have to for all of them. All right. So now I gotta get to work. I gotta paint the floor. Uh, I just wanna seal it up. Just cause, you know, we had puppies. We had a cat. So, 
We're just going to do a quick coat on top of it. Uh, the flooring doesn't seem to be stained or smell, but the carpet did have some damage to it. I know the mat sucked up a lot of that. We ripped it out pretty fast. And this stuff is waterproof. I don't know. It's like the equivalent to LifeProof brand. So, anyways, that's what we went with. Uh, and it's more than sufficient for a closet. Um, it's actually something you'd normally put into a kitchen or bathroom. But since the kids are little enough, we figure they tend to walk in here all wet. They grab a towel anyways, because they don't grab it before they go to get in the shower. We're just going to put the waterproof stuff in. Alright everybody, so before I get painting on the floor, I need to re-sweep everything. So I'm going to get this stuff back out. You know what? This is going to take too long. Alright. Done. <laughs> All right, now I gotta sweep. Make sure to like and subscribe. Now this flooring is really easy because the matting, the stuff that you the first the underlayment, that's already attached to it. So all you really have to do is just buy the material. You don't have to worry about underlayment. The only reason I'm doing paint on the floors is because we did have a puppy. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get that done and over with. Alright, so I'm going to start painting. And I'm actually going to start on this side so I can work my way out. And I went with whatever the cheapest roller was I could find. And it was actually like a six pack or eight bucks. I'm using this, which is not made for floors. But, since I'm putting a laminate that's a floating floor over it, I don't have to really worry about it sticking to it. It's if you're going to be painting the floor. When painting the floor, make sure you ventilate the area very well. I had both of our exhaust fans running in the bathroom, and that took out most of the smell. Stay tuned for part two, where I show you how to lay the floor. Now I gotta let it dry. Make sure you like and subscribe. May God bless you and your family. And we'll see you next time.